Hello everybody, I'm Heather from Heather B. Shaw's DIY Style and I had a video I wanted to put out to you guys and it's how to make the perfect shade of vintage green. Green's the color of 2022 and I like green no matter what time of the year it is or what year it is. I like green in my house, especially for spring and summer. So anyway let's get into it the perfect shade of vintage green have you guys ever seen those pretty um old uh utensils that you can get from like the antique stores and stuff where they have the green handles and sometimes they have red handles but um uh, i'm kind of drawn to the ones with the green handles and um here's one as an example um see it's like a metal spoon it has the wooden handle and it's got like this pretty chippy handle green and this green is such a pretty green and i wanted to show you how you can make that color yourself so this is easy easy from walmart walmart products okay a container uh this is the eight ounce container that's what i used um of fern chalk paint an eight ounce container of celery chalk paint waverly and then um, a couple tablespoons of leaf green ceramic coat. This one just kind of brightens up the color just a little bit, gives it a little bit of that yellow um, undertone. And then you're gonna act, when you're done, you're gonna want to use a little bit of dark wax. You can use Waverly's dark wax. It's just this is the one I had handy. This is the Kills uh, dark wax. And um, okay, you mix mix all that up. And it makes a decent amount you're going to be able to do a couple good projects with it i've painted a large mirror frame over on that side of my kitchen and a shelf down here that i'm going to show you in a minute and um i did this rolling pin i made these handles green on here because i always like those but they're always kind of expensive at the flea market and i don't really care if it's you know authentic for what i'm wanting it for I just thought it would be pretty as decor. I can hang it somewhere. I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do, but the two together are, you know, this one's just a little shiny. I haven't decided yet whether I wanna put it like a little varnish on here or not, but the color is basically the same color. Um, it does it does need that little bit of dark wax at the end though, to give it that uh, old, old, you know, dingy, uh, tone to it. You don't want to add a little bit of black paint to the paint because my husband said, oh, and it's just a touch of black paint in there. I tried that and it kind of turns it into a, like a yucky color of green, even just the slightest amount. So stick with the dark wax. And um, what I used to do when I made um, chalk paint on my own, back when people first started using chalk paint, is I would put it in jars and then if you want to go back and use it like a couple months later to touch up anything, it's really, really, really hard to get the uh, lid off. So use a plastic container. Um, I cleaned out um, a, an OxyClean container and I made basically a full container of it and I still have, you know, about to there, about half of this left to do um, more projects with. So, um, you know, I'm looking forward to using it on some more things, but uh, let me show you the shelf I've got that I've done. I did this shelf, this it's a small shelf, you know, on the edge of my kitchen cabinets. And I always like to keep it here to, um, you know, put my dog treats on and my cookbooks are at the bottom of it down here. And um, now I have like, you know, Cooper eats a lot of rice. I'm waiting for my rice to cool down back there. So um, that's why I was filming this right now um, in the evening on Thursday night. <laughs> Not a normal time for me. But, um, uh, you know, sick dogs need to have their rice. Um, and there's some dog bones, clothes pins, you know, powdered sugar. You know, just essentials that you use around your kitchen I'm going to use here. And in the background of this, I I put some fabric back there. So I think that's really cute looking. It reminds me of my grandma's house when I was a kid. And then I found this really delicate looking doily to put here. So um, let me know what you think. Um, do you like green? Are you going to use any green in your house this, this year? Um, green is the color of 2022. Um, let... 
let me know if you try to mix this paint up and do it yourself and let, uh, show me what you make yourself. Um, the mirror over there looks, I'm a mirror. <laughs> Tired. Uh, it's a chalkboard. <laughs> Uh, looks good over there too and I showed this in my last video this little um, match holder and it has green and that green matches perfectly on there with the other green so I'm going to add some green back here in this area and there's the painting I showed in my last video with the green that matches too it's kind of far away for me to show you um, how well it matches but trust me it does and um, you know I can't wait to get my kitchen all updated and um, ready for uh, spring and summer. So uh, like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Ask me any questions. I like to answer the questions. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye.